What is going on you guys, this is Techie Chi coming at you with a brand new how to video on how to stream using OBS Studios. Now this is episode number 4, if you haven't seen episode 1 to 3, it will be down in the description below or you can click on the I on the card. So I have a playlist so that you guys could be caught up to what we're going to do. And today what we're going to do is extras, now this is followers alert, chat box, recent followers. We're not going to do sponsorships even though the thumbnail shows it, we're not going to do sponsorships because I feel like a lot of people aren't really into that and aren't really sponsored to many companies stuff like that because this is just for like beginners and stuff like that and this is extra so you don't need to use this you don't need any of this but this will make your uh, streaming look a lot more professional and it looks really good so we're gonna go over to the computer everything that I'm gonna be using is gonna be down in the description below as well so that you guys don't have to go search for it so you want to go to the computer and you want to open up your browser today we're gonna be using night dev and we're gonna use a couple other things so this one that we're gonna start with is the follower alert so you want to click on the install we're gonna use OBS once again and you guys want to make sure that you have the browser windows so this is for either Windows or Mac so you have a plugin you need a plugin for that so if you don't know you want to check you can just click over here you want to click next you want to link your Dropbox account that's what kind of sucks you need a Dropbox account but to whatever and you want to go and put your Twitch channel so mine is X4 gaming and then there's multiple styles of which of the followers alert you want so I like the flip trapezoid and you'll see why I'll keep it as red because that's the color scheme of my stream and then you need sound now this is basically like a notification a sound effect on um, when somebody follows you there's like cool stuff and what I like is for whatever type of game you're mainly into for like CSGO Halo uh, Call of Duty all that step type of stuff so I'm mainly into Call of Duty so I'm using a Black Ops 3 rank up sound effect that I found on YouTube and you can search it anywhere on YouTube mainly so what I like to do is first you need to convert it into an OGG audio file so we're going to go over to here it's going to be down in the description below once again and then you want to click choose file and then you want to go to whatever you have the audio source so I have it to streaming and I have the black ops 3 rank up sound effect you want to click that and then you want to just convert file and it'll take a couple seconds you can see that's processing and then it'll show up when it's finished so you want to give it a couple seconds and then here you go I'm going to show in folder and then open up in my other monitor I want to drag it to videos I'm going to close this I'm going to go back to night dev and you want to choose the file and then you want to go to wherever you saved it which is right here then you want to click next and it's going to generate a URL and then what you want to do is you want to get this entire thing you want to copy it then you want to go to OBS and then what you want to do is you want to click the plus browser source and you want to put anything that you want so I'm going to put follower alert and then you want to paste it to the URL and then you want to go to the width and the height now the width is 580 and the height is 110 so you want to put 580 and then 110 you want to click OK and then you want to drag it to wherever you want it to be I like to put it in the middle and then if you want to see like a little preview on it and you want to hear it you won't hear it from mine but I'll show you guys a preview of it you can see you can test what the alert would look like by putting this so you want to copy it and you want to put it like right after the center so you want it to be the last thing so you want to right click go to properties again you want to go right to the end at center you want to paste that you want to click OK and what I like to do oh <laughs> my my computer uh, audio was on and I like to put behind the stream overlay because it looks like it's coming from behind it so it looks really nice so you guys actually heard a little preview of it oh it must have been the fade I forgot to put the uh, I'm gonna go back to it because it's fade I like to slide it down as well click OK and then hopefully it'll show it there you go it slides it down so it looks like it's coming from behind the stream overlay so it looks really nice so now whenever you get a new follower this will come up and also the sound effect that you put so it's really good it looks really professional and you want any type of color or anything like that you want to click next and for people that are into coding you guys could go more in depth with it but we're just going to keep it simple so that's basically how the followers alert work it's very simple and then if you want to put like a most recent follower like a bar or something like that you want to go to stream labels you want to connect it to your twitch account and then over here on the left it's going to be stream labels you want to download it and then for chrome which i definitely recommend it's like a application and then you just want to close this 
and then it opens up over here and then you have stream labels and then you want it to link it to your twitch account and then you want to save it to like a folder um and you gotta know where that folder is so i have it in uh in a folder and it's basically called twitch alerts you want to save it to wherever you know that's going to be because you need to know exactly where it's going to be and so what you want to do you want to go to obs after when you're done with all that i can't really show you guys because i have it already set up which kind of sucks but after when you're in obs you want to click the plus and then you want to go to browser source i believe oh no you actually what you want to do you want to go to um text and then you want to put it to uh recent i'm gonna just put recent and then you want to go to check the read from file then you want to browse wherever you have it so i have it like around here multiple folders so you can see right here i have twitch alerts and then there's multiple ones of these for a tons ton of stuff like subscribe uh donate recent followers so monthly followers all of that so you want to go to most recent follower you want to click that and then there it is and then you could if you have a bar on where it specifically goes you could resize and everything so i'm gonna just leave it like this and basically you have to have this thing open in order for it to update whenever there's a new follower which is which kind of sucks but it's all right you just have to have this thing open and then minimize it in the background and then this will update as well as long as this is open so what's really cool now is that in you get a notification on when there's a newest follower it comes down here and then like a minute or two later this updates as well which is really nice for the newest follower so that the viewers could get notified and stuff like that could see and get recognized which is really cool so that's pretty cool and then the next thing that we're gonna do is chat box now same thing stream labs and then you want to go to chat box which is down here and then you can mess around with this if you really want to but I just like to keep it as is and I basically want to highlight this copy this go to OBS click the plus browser source once again I'll just type in chat box and then you just want to paste this and then there you go i have my own box over here it's pretty good and i just like to basically go to properties and just scale it a little bit more I like to put like 900 or something like that depending how it is but it's whatever it's later on and just to show you guys that actually works because this is linked to your twitch account and you don't have to have anything open which is really good because in youtube i like to i see like a lot of people and they say that you have to have this open you want screen capture this which i really don't like but what's what's good about streamlabs is that you don't have to have anything open so if i were to like close this or close anything it will still work so right here we're on my account basically my uh, twitch account and i'm just typing yo there you go you go to obs and it's right there it's pretty much instant it's crazy and it's right away so i could just let's say i just could just snap this and it'll be very quick like what's up see it updates right away which is really cool and you don't have to have anything open which is awesome so let me just open this up so that's really cool for the chat box so that it could show like basically the viewers can see that it's actually working and it's it looks very professional in my opinion so that uh, you can see all these types of things and it could be in the stream and then you have followers alert you got recent followers so like multiple stuff you could put donations uh subscribe notifications all that type of stuff which is really cool and i just want to show you guys very quickly i have it now playing so what i like to do is i like to type what i'm playing so like I'll just put playing and I'll just type in let's say CLB black ops 3 and then you can put any type of font or anything like that and then just have it like right here minimize this just keep it like that and it looks a lot more professional which is really cool we're not gonna go much I'm not gonna go in depth with the sponsorships because mine is a bit more detailed and I like to use After Effects and stuff like that. But I'm gonna just add it just to show you guys. But I like to go to Media Source and it's Sponsorships. Click that. Browse. I'm like this is for you guys. If you guys want a more in depth, if you guys want to see the sponsorship part, then I guess I'll make a more in depth video about this. But I have it saved over here. Sponsorship overlay. Click OK and then there it is basically now my 
now your stream looks a lot more professional you got a chat box you got recent followers you got followers alert and if you have a now playing section you can put that as well it's very easy and if you have a sponsorships i'll make a video about that if you guys really want to see that as well because mine is like a moving sponsorship so it updates every 10 seconds to the next sponsor and stuff like that but there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments below if this was helpful to you guys everything is going to be down in the description below so that you guys don't have to go searching for it as well as episode one to three so that you guys can get caught up to it as well also you can click on the i for the playlist but there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe follow me on facebook twitter youtube instagram and twitch as always this is techie g i'll catch you guys in the next video peace